Over the past week, very serious allegations of child abuse were made against Rabbi Chaim Walder, award-winning advocate for children and author of dozens of children's books, including Kids Speak, Yeladim Misadchim Alatzmam. Rabbi Walder, through his attorneys, categorically and unequivocally denies the accusations. Our office has been inundated with digital communication and calls from sincere, thoughtful parents around the world asking how to process this information themselves and how to discuss this with their children. Here are my initial thoughts, and I'm taking the unusual step of reading from a prepared statement in order that the message be transmitted with the precision an important topic of this nature deserves. To begin with, at this point, I know nothing other than what I've read in the media, and since I have neither the training nor the resources to determine the validity of the accusations, it would be highly inappropriate for me to do so. Rabbi Walder is innocent until proven guilty and fully deserves the opportunity to defend himself against these accusations. At the same time, these allegations need to be taken very, very seriously, and I recommend that parents whose children were in contact with Rabbi Walder seek professional guidance on how to speak and, more importantly, how to listen to your children, not from well-meaning people like myself, but only from credentialed mental health professionals who are trained and experienced in dealing with child abuse. These parents are also encouraged to learn about the red flag signs of children who, chas v'shalom, God forbid, have been abused, so you can have more informed conversations with your child's therapist. It's extremely important that all parents use this opportunity to have informed, research-based child safety conversations with your kids without unnecessarily frightening them. Now more than ever is the time to inform your kids that they can discuss anything, absolutely anything, with you at any time. To the best of my knowledge, the alleged victims are anonymous. If they do go public, they must, must be treated with respect and their safety assured. When discussing the allegations, please be aware that some abuse victims might find listening to all of this very unsettling or worse. This is often referred to as triggering, and we should do whatever we can to avoid needlessly causing pain to abuse survivors. And always keep in mind that you just don't know who among your friends or community members is an abuse survivor. In closing, please be mindful that this horrible situation will deeply affect the generation of children who were raised, entertained, and often inspired by Rabbi Walder's books. If you feel you must discuss this matter, please do so with sensitivity and tact. As it is, the children have a, will have a very hard time processing all of this. A program note, in the days ahead, I will be giving classes to parents helping you acquire the tools that you'll need to help get your kids through this. I'll be posting the information on social media and through my email list. Thank you very much for listening and may Hashem grant us uh, wisdom, strength, and the fortitude to help our kids through all this. Thank you.